Good day. Welcome to another episode of Masonic Curators. Before we begin our episode today, I just want to put out again two shout outs to our good friends. Uh, one is Anthony McCool, who runs Coolest Life. Uh, Anthony is still out there videotaping various Masonic lodges uh, all over the place. Uh, he gets inside, he tapes the inside of the Masonic buildings, uh, some of the artifacts. Um, it's a great uh, YouTube channel, uh, Coolest Life with Anthony McCool. Um, and then there's also Masonic Unity, The Right Stuff with uh, Glenn and Mark. Uh, they're the curators down there at the Grand Lodge of <coughs> excuse me, New Jersey's uh, Masonic Museum in Trenton, New Jersey. And Mark and Glenn have been putting together a bunch of great videos on not only interviews with Masons, but also a number of the pieces from um, the various collection uh, that they have in the museum. And if you do, I have to tell you that if you do watch Masonic Unity, go back and look at the episode they did on the Masonic Hall Mirror. Uh, folks, and especially the Brotherman, it's an absolutely fantastic uh, piece of memorabilia. It's like eight feet tall, all hand carved, all Masonic. It's a magnificent hall mirror. So with that, our episode today is this piece here. Now, no, it is not uh, one of the middle chamber uh, columns that is missing one of them. No, it is not a warden's column that is missing one of the columns. Uh, this is rather an unusual piece. Um, I do know they have made these in metal. Uh, they have made them in cardboard, and we here in Massachusetts give them away in cardboard today. This is actually a lambskin apron holder. Uh, believe this is could be, uh, and we'll figure it out in a second when we open it up. Um, it's nickel plated. Um, it don't know exactly who the company is because it is not marked. Uh, it does look like it has been machine made. Um, it's been beautifully done uh, with engravings, the top of the column, the globe. In the front it does say lamb skin, AF and AM. And it has a spot here for probably the individual's name, maybe the lodge, the date, as well as a spot in the back that has not been filled out. Now, taking the top off, which just lifts, it is all metal, and inside, is a Masonic lambskin. Now, I told Chuck, this is another piece from Chuck's collection, uh, that I have seen something similar to this in one of my reference books, but at the moment I cannot find it. So I believe something like this was made and sold by regalia companies that a Mason could buy, and then also put his own apron in it for safekeeping, and then probably just display it in his home. And this is just like any other Masonic leather apron that is given to a candidate. It was bought by the uh, Baldwin, Baldwin Regalia Company of St. Louis, Missouri. <clears throat> and I'm not going to try to show you it because it is a little bit fragile. But it was presented from Fenton Lodge Number 281 of Fenton, Missouri, given to John Jacob I believe it's Linen, Linen Pinton, uh, how you pronounce his last name. Uh, and he took his degrees in 1961. Now, whether or not this piece here is from the 50s, 60s, do not know. Unfortunately, again, it is not marked. Uh, but this is a wonderful, wonderful piece of Masonic memorabilia. Uh, very unusual to find. Uh, as I told Chuck, I have seen another one that is metal. I do know they did make them. And today we do 
give the candidates a cardboard one. Um, whether or not this was made by a machinist uh, for this individual or he was able to purchase it from a particular regular company or company, uh, we do not know just yet. But uh, it is a beautiful piece. It has some weight to it. Uh, the nice thing, it comes with the apron. Um, so if you guys happen to have one of these in your own collection or something similar, send us a comment. We'd love to see a picture of it. Uh, if you may know some more information about the piece, again, please, once the video goes on YouTube, you can uh, make a comment at the bottom or when we put the video on our Facebook account, uh, Masonic Curators, you can also leave a comment as well. So we'd like to get more information about this piece here. Um, it's a great piece. Uh, I'd like to see more of them if they do exist out there. And with that, Keep your eyes open for you guys who are Masonic collectors. Uh, if you see one, you see another. So they're out there, you just gotta find them. With that, I uh, wanna thank you. Don't forget, thumbs up if you happen to like this video. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, and just one quick little side note, uh, folks, uh, we at the crew of Masonic Curators, we don't get anything for doing these. Uh, we like Masons. Uh, we're all volunteers. We get no money, nothing. We don't even get fed. Uh, so this is all out of the goodness of our hearts. And why? Well, because we love to do this stuff. We love to go to buildings and see all this great, what I fondly call junk. Uh, but above all, we do it for you. Um, and we do it for you so you can get some better information about all the wonderful pieces of memorabilia that is out there in the market, in, the Masonic, uh, in Masonic buildings, in personal collections, um, in just Mason's homes that are sitting around, maybe in an attic or in a basement. Um, stuff that yet has still not been found. Um, so remember, please pass on. Uh, to others. If you have a friend that collects Masonic memorabilia, tell them about our videos. Uh, talk a, a little mention about us in, in your Masonic a Lodge meeting. Um, please, download one of our videos to your, to your own Lodge uh, Facebook or web page. Uh, we've had quite a few done by various Lodges, as well as the Grand Lodge of Pennsylvania and a brother out in, uh, over in the UK on Masonic Swords. So um, please, uh, download some of our videos if you find something of interest, uh, and not only look at our current uh, videos, which date back now to a year, but also those going back when Brother R.J. Johnson and Brother Stanley did them four or five years ago. So with that, again, from the Masonic Curators, we thank you so very, very much for watching us. Take care.